There are a couple of different ways to properly vent your home laser to remove smoke, odors, and fumes from your work area. Today, I'm gonna to cover all of those options and answer some of the most commonly asked questions about ventilation from new laser users. Hey there, I'm Sarah. You're watching Creative Ramblings. We talk a lot about lasers on this channel. If you are a laser crafter, consider subscribing. I have new videos here every week. Today we are focused on ventilation. If you have a home laser, maybe it looks like this one or any of the other many models that are available, all of these lasers need to be vented in some way. So that is what we are talking about today. So let's start really, really basic here. Why do I need to vent my laser? Inside one of these machines, we are burning and cutting materials. Materials like wood, acrylic, leather, cardboard, paper, all kinds of different things. And we're gonna create a lot of dust and a lot of smoke. All of that dust and smoke and odors and fumes, it all needs to go somewhere. So your laser, it's gonna come with some type of a hose and the smoke is going to be pushed through this hose. So we need to do something with this to get it out of our workspace. Most home lasers that are sold are enclosed lasers. There are open models as well and I have used them here. However, now that enclosed options are so readily available, I would really stay away from a more open laser. Or if you have an open laser, purchase an enclosure that goes around it. This is gonna protect your eyes and keep you safe, and it's also gonna give all that smoke a place to go. So before we get into the different options for ventilation, there's a couple things you need to know and a couple tips I wanna share with you. It's really important to know the diameter of your hose. Now, most of these lasers are made in China. Some are made in the US. The ones made overseas are going to have slightly different diameters than what we would consider standard here. So this is the P2S and this hose is three and a quarter inches. That is the same size hose on my S1 and my F1. Um, the M1 hose is actually a little bit smaller. Um, I've also found this is about the size hose on the We Create Vision and Vista lasers. So that's important to know before we get into the different options that are available. Couple general tips. The shorter distance that your hose has to travel, the better. If your machine is creating smoke and it has to push it through this hose, if there's a really, really long hose, it's going to have a hard time pushing all that smoke out. So if you can get close to a window or close to an air purifier, that, that's better. So as close as you can get, that's what you want to go for. The other thing that I've found is I have a window behind me here. I tend to vent out this window. We're going to talk about that in a second. I have another window across the way there. And what I've found is if I open that window and vent out this window, I get this really nice cross flow of air in my room. I don't know the science behind it, but I find that um, I'm better able to ventilate when I have that second window open. Option one, this is the easiest method to vent your laser and it's not gonna cost you anything. So when you have a desktop laser, again, this is the P2S, this is a CO2 model, but these tips are gonna apply to any laser. So we could talk about the 10 watt X-Tool M1 or we create Vista, any of those lasers that are out there. You're gonna have the enclosed piece. Inside there's going to be a fan and then there's going to be a hose. So when your laser starts up, the fan is gonna start going and it's going to push the smoke out through this hose. So when you unpack your laser, it's gonna come with some foam. Save a piece of this foam, trace a hole and cut a hole the size of your laser hose so that it fits snugly. You can also get a little bit fancier and use like a one by four or a one by six to do this. And then we're gonna put this in the window. Foam works, wood works, any kind of fabric probably isn't gonna work because the smoke will go out and then it'll come back in. So you do want something solid that's going to block the smoke from coming back in. 
So this is going to work best on a window that opens up and down. So if I open this window up here, I know the sun is kind of bright. Um, I made sure my foam was the same width as my window and I can put it in here. Shut the window a little bit. I can even pull down the shades if I want. And I have a nice easy vent that goes from my machine and directly out the window. If you are not near a window, so ideally you want your laser to be close to a window, but if you are not near a window, you could add a permanent vent. So we're talking about putting a hole in your wall and directly venting out that hole with the hose that comes with the laser. So option two is a variation on just venting out a window. Option two includes adding an inline fan to your hose. So I have a full video walking through the inline fan setup on my Xtool S1. Uh, make sure you take a look at that if you wanna know the exact details of everything I used. Uh, it's a quick video, it'll walk you through everything. Here's why you might want a inline fan. If you are cutting a lot of things that produce a lot of smoke, so wood will produce a lot of smoke, leather and acrylic give off a very specific smell that can be kind of irritating. And if you're finding that your fan inside your laser venting out the window is just not enough, you're still getting some kind of a smell in the room, you may wanna add an inline fan. So an inline fan hooks up to the hose of your laser, and then there's another hose that goes out the back and goes out the window the fan pulls more of the smoke. You can turn off the fan in your laser and just rely on the inline fan or you can have them work together. Most companies make an inline fan. In fact, Xtool just came out with one that is really powerful and really compact. It's actually much smaller than the one that I have um, and it works with the machines, with the Xtool machines. So I wanna show you my inline fan setup here. It's kind of taken apart at the moment. Um, first of all, this is the Xtool P2S. I used to use an inline fan on my original P2, but with the new fans on this one, I don't use this. I just vented out a window and it works perfectly. What I would do though, if I needed it, is this is the hose coming out of the P2. I would put it in here. This is the fan. The fan just plugs in. And then there's an exterior hose on this other side that then vents out the window. This is a four inch fan. So remember when we started, talked about, it's important to know the diameter of your hose. So this hose is three and a quarter inch. The hose coming off the other end is four inches. So I actually have an adapter on here that goes from three and a quarter inch to four inch so that I can get up to this fan. Um, I still use this for my S1. It's a 40 watt laser. I cut a lot of wood on there. It creates a lot of smoke. So I keep the fan on in my S1. I put the inline fan on it and then I vent it out the window. So again, if you're getting a lot of smoke, if you're still getting a lot of smells, an inline fan might be right for you. Take a look at my full video. I walk through exactly how to set this up. Option number three is to use an air purifier like this one here. So an air purifier means your laser vents into the purifier. So this would be the hose coming off your laser and it goes into the purifier. There are a whole bunch of filters in here that clean the air and then this hose would go out a window. This air purifier is made from Xtool. There are a lot of companies that make an air purifier like this. And so let me open it up and I'm gonna show you what's inside of this. This is a newer piece and so it's actually pretty clean, but there are just layers of filter. So this is just foam on top. And then we have a number of layers of filters like this. All of these filters can be replaced and they need to be replaced periodically in order for your filter to keep pushing out clean air. Most air purifiers need to then be vented out a window. This is going to clean your air, but you really shouldn't then just let this go back into your home because it's not gonna clean it that well. What this allows you to do is if venting out a window, maybe even with an inline fan, was still giving you some odors and some smells in your home, 
you may want to add this on to just clean out that air a little bit more. It also allows you a little bit more room. You can vent from the laser to the purifier and then have kind of a longer hose going out the window. Earlier this week, I did a video on a brand new laser air purifier from X-Tool. This thing is pretty incredible. You can go take a look at the video up above. It is the first air purifier that I'm comfortable with not venting out a window. So you can vent into the purifier and then it just the clean air just goes back into your room. Regular price, this purifier is about $1,000 and there are five different filters on the inside, plus a washable reusable filter. When you're using a laser, no matter how well you have it ventilated, you are still going to get some smells in your home. So even though my P2S has an excellent fan and it vents out a window, when I cut wood, when I open this up, I smell the wood. The actual wood piece is going to have a little bit of a smell to it, and you're going to get a little bit of smell inside of there. Um, leather will do the same thing, not so much with other materials, but definitely with those. So just keep that in mind. There isn't a laser that'll be completely odor free. It is really important to clean and maintain the fans and filters in your laser. So I know on this one, I can easily pop off the hose in the back. I can easily access the filters inside of here and I can clean them out. You may have a laser that has a replaceable filter. Just make sure you're keeping up on proper maintenance because if your fans are clogged, it doesn't matter how well you're venting it, nothing can get through those clogs. If you are venting out a window like I showed you, I really advise pulling that vent in when you're not using it. So I'm in Wisconsin, we get all four seasons here and in the winter I have accidentally left it in overnight and in the morning, I will have condensation inside my hose, and I've even found condensation inside my laser. I have not hurt anything, nothing has gone wrong, but it concerns me a little bit to get that big of a temperature shift and then to have a little bit of condensation inside my laser. So I would highly advise pulling the hose in when you are not using it, or you can get kind of a dryer vent to put on your window that has a valve that'll open and close, which then protects your laser. So those are the three options for venting your laser. Just remember, no matter what, this hose is going to have smoke coming out of it and it needs to either be attached to a purifier or going out a window so that your workspace stays clean and odor free. I've linked some other video videos down in the description if you want to learn more about some of the ventilation systems or some of the lasers and purifiers that we've talked about here. If you're a laser crafter, consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos to help you move forward in your creative journey. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.